Number 10, James Moffat's New Testament translation in his footnotes, page 64, says the following words. I quote, it may be that this Trinitarian formula, so far as the fullness of its expression is concerned, is a reflection of the Catholic liturgical usage established later in the primitive Catholic community. It will be remembered that Acts speaks of baptizing in the name of Jesus. Acts 1 verse 5. Number 11, um, R. Boltman, Theology of the New Testament, page 133. Boltman says, I quote, As to the rite of baptism, it was normally consummated as a bath in which the one receiving baptism completely submerged and if possible in flowing water as the illusions of Acts 8 verse 36, Hebrews 10 verse 22, permit as to gather specifically says. According to the last passage, the apocryphal Catholic suffices in case of the need if water is three times poured, false Catholic sprinkling doctrine on the head. The one baptizing names over the one being baptized, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, later expanded, changed to the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Number 12, Principal A.J. Grieve, A Commentary on the Bible, 1920, page 723. Uh, Principal Grieve says, and I quote, the command to baptize in the threefold name is a late doctrinal expansion. In place of the words baptizing spirit, we should probably read simply into my name. <laughs> Allah will